What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a quick one. I just want to go over the formatting of your code. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you're coding a website, when you're creating your individual files, there's two things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to have very well formatted code. And then often you're also going to want to have minified code. And now I want to show you exactly what I mean. So if we go back over here to the file that we're working with, the index.html, in the HTML tutorials folder that's located on our desktop, we'll take a look at this code over here. I did add some more things because I'm prepping another video on how to add links to your individual files, how to add images uh, to your web pages, and an overview of the file system. That's all going to be important, so definitely subscribe to the channel so you can take a look at that video, which will be coming right after this one. But if we start looking down, you can see that the code up here looks fine, but as we scroll down, it starts to get a little bit messy. So this is not exactly a best practice. A best practice would be to have well formatted code. And that means proper indentations. So let's say we're going to indent this over here just to make sure it's uh, recognized to be nested inside of this footer tag over here. And we would do the same thing over here. And that will make it a little bit easier to read. And you can see where each tag starts and finishes. It's a lot easier to do when you have well formatted code. But now I'm going to bring that back as it was before. I'm going to save that. So let's say you've been working on your project and you want to clean up your code. Now there's packages you could use with your text editor and there's also task managers that you could use. But I'm going to be creating another video tutorial on how to use the Atom text editor, how to format it, how to set it up, and the different packages you should consider using. And I have other videos and I'll create other videos on how to use advanced tools and task runners like Grunt or Gulp. So I'll show you a very easy way to deal with this. So what you can do, without having to install anything else on your computer, you can select all your code, copy it, go back to the browser. We're going to go to this website. In here, we're going to paste our code, and then you can select your options over here. You can choose spaces or tabs, and then you have some other options over here as well. I'm going to leave everything set to the default settings. Now click on Format Code. Then I'll select all the code inside, bring it back to the uh, text editor, make sure everything's highlighted, then I'll replace that code and save it. All right, so now you see that everything's formatted better and easier to understand. Now, this is going to be beneficial for you. It'll make it easier for you to maintain your code. And your team members, if you're working in an agency or for a larger company, will find it easier to work with your code because they'll be able to read it and understand it better. So this is for your development purposes. You're going to always want to have well-formatted, clean code. For your production, you may want to have something different. So I'm going to select all this again, copy it, First, let's go to that index file in the browser over here. Refresh, make sure it still works. And then we're going to view page source. So now you see that the code over here in the page source is nicely formatted. But now if we go to another website over here, this is going to minify our code. So this is good to do for your HTML, for your CSS, and for your JavaScript. This is good because it'll improve the performance of your web page and your website. Minifying your code is kind of like compressing your files. You're eliminating all the white space and therefore making the file size smaller, which means that particular website or web page will load faster in the browser. It also has the added benefit of being harder to read when someone's studying your code. Now, of course, you could always just copy the code and then unminify it. So we go over here, we'll paste our code, and then we'll click on Minify. We'll copy all this, go back to our text editor. Everything's still highlighted, but if it's not, just make sure you control A or command A just to select everything and then control V or command V to paste what you just copied. Save everything, go back to the browser, make sure the file still works, and it does. If we view page source on this, now you see everything's minified. This makes it a lot harder to read. It also makes the page load significantly faster in the browser. Now, if you wanna study code that's minified, what can you do? Well, you could just select everything, copy it, and then I'll introduce you to another website, and this one's called unminified.com. So we could take the code that we copied and we could paste it in here and we could unminify it. Then we could select all, copy it. You could bring it back to your text editor, select all, and then paste, and then save. Now you have everything unminified. So just to recap, what we accomplished here is we talked about writing clean code for your development purposes. It's going to be easy for you to maintain your code if it's well formatted. You'll be able to understand the formatting of it. And you can see where tags start and finish easily. But for your production website, you may want to have everything minified. So that way, your website and web page will load faster. And it kind of obscures your code. But again, 
If you want to study the code, you can just always grab it and then go to unminify.com, paste it here, and then unminify the code. And that's it. Now you know how to beautify your HTML code or your CSS or JavaScript code. You know how to minify it as well. And you know how to unminify code when you need to. These three websites are going to be very helpful in your learning process. So definitely bookmark these and use them when you're coding. Now again, there's always task managers you can work with like Grunt and Gulp and I'll do other videos on those. And there's also tools that you could use with your text editor that can take care of some of this for you as well. But since those are more advanced and we're taking this step by step, I wanted to show you an easy way to accomplish these goals with free resources online. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful where we covered how to beautify your code, how to minify your code, and how to unminify code. If you did find it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.